Hey guys, uh, you're watching Elevation Monday with your boy Wayne Slinger Carey. I got a, a secret for you. They're going to come and just introduce themselves. I'm going to just give them permission to do so right now. Go ahead, my man. Hello, social media, which is all around the world. I am Irvin, and have a great day listening to this man who is my daddy. All right, cool, man. And listen, yesterday on Sunday, I went over to spend some time with my father-in-law, Reverend George Cooper, who was honored as being the first Sunday school uh first Sunday school superintendent of the Assemblies of God over at in Freeport over at Cabri Temple and there was a word that Dr. Robert Lockhart talked about talked about the Bible uh, you know they, they sung a song the B-I-B-L-E that's the book for me I stand upon the word of God the B-I-B-L-E and then he talked about uh, how the Bible is an optimistic book and when you talk about the Bible being an optimistic book you can think about persons who who were so to speak, they were not heroes to their families, but at the end of the story, they were heroes. That's, that's, that's the optimistic book right there. And you begin to talk about, when you uh, mention that optimistic book, I begin to look at, think about the pessimist. The pessimists are those persons, you, you, are, you would have regrets when you begin to ask them, how was that day, how were things going? Because they're always going to see it gray. They never see themselves coming out. This is what it is. It's always bad. It's always great. But the optimistic person says, like the Bible declares, let the weak declare strength. That optimistic person would continuously declaring strength even though they may feel weak. Even though the present situation may not be the way they want it to be. But they are speaking positive and, 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 and doing the positive things. So to let the weak declare strength. Let the poor declare rich. That's a person who's optimistic, who understands this is what it says. And like David, and I'll leave you with this, David says something like, I was young, now I am old. I have never ever seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging bread. That simply means, guess what? In your life, regardless of how it may look, take that word as David declares, I was young, now I'm old. I have never, ever, ever seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. Listen, simply put, the optimistic person, persons are those persons that no matter how life turns their way, no matter what comes their way, they're going to find a way to navigate and get to their destination. The pessimist is the one who just kind of just give up, who just falls by the way because of the perception that they have. It never works out. For the pessimist but for you those persons who are optimistic in their thinking those persons these are the persons that change the world these are the person that change the community these are the persons that go into their workplace and they begin to rally people together because they have a, a, a concept and a perception of how things can turn around today have an optimistic mentality and I believe that once you do that man I'm telling you your life is going to change for the better on behalf of my little man, Urban Wayne Roland Carey, this is your boy Wayne Slinger Carey. I'll see you right here next week on Elevation Monday. Peace. Have a great one.